So before we move on to text wrapping, I want to make one quick note about color and text. I wanted to wait until we had some interesting backgrounds to uh, talk about this. So I did not include it earlier when we were talking about color and text in some of the previous videos. But this is the perfect opportunity to just add this in. If you go back to uh, our earlier two pages that we were working on and uh, look at the uh, heading uh, we have here, the title we have, Training with the Dragon, we're going to just shift it over a little bit just to get this transition to the red in between uh, the first two words and these uh, two words. And we're going to look at changing the color of text. We really haven't done that at all yet. Um, this background uh, could work with dark uh, um, colored text, usually black, of course. But um, what if it was white or you wanted to have something... Uh, really eye-catching like red over here, for example. So we'll do the uh, both of those just to give you a sense of uh, uh, what they would look like. First of all, let's make the dragon, uh, the words the dragon, white. So highlight those words and remember, go back to the text tool. Click within your text box to get the cursor in there and highlight whatever words you want to change the color of. If you were to just select the text box and then start playing with different colors, you'd be adding background color to a text box, which I really don't recommend in general. Putting color in the background of a text box is very restricting, at least as far as how I work. So we're going to change that back to none. And instead of having the text box selected, we're instead going to use the text tool and click in to select. Drag and select or highlight these two words. And then in the swatches, choose a different color. In this case, paper. Click the deselect and you've got white text. Now you might say, Oh, well, that's easy, obvious. But here's where it's worth mentioning. If you selected this text and have a look at the fill and border, or what they call stroke uh, option, fill and stroke color option selector, remember from our previous videos that you can choose which one of these you're changing the color of. Now, in a box, a colored box, this makes total sense because if you put a black border on it, and we'll just increase the stroke really quickly here. Well, that makes sense. You've got a fill color and you've got a stroke color, a border. Let's get rid of that border color back to none. With text, however, select the text. With text, by default, there is black as, this is the default, the black as a fill color and no border. Border on text doesn't really work that well unless you want to make outline text on very large font sizes like a heading or a subheading or a decorative um, word art of some kind. So if you were to mistakenly have the border selected and change the color, you could very easily do something like put a yellow border. We'll just deselect that so you can see it. A yellow border by mistake around your text. And this, I hope you agree, doesn't look that great, at least in this situation. So let's select that again. Go back to swatches. Make sure we're still on the border color and make sure it's set to none. Now, obviously, there's an opportunity for some creative fun here if the opportunity arises and if it suits the subject matter of your publication that you're making. Uh, you could say fill color white. Oops, one sec. Fill color. Fill color white and border color black. And the result would be, well, a pretty snazzy looking outline text. And you do see this a lot. Um, a lot of designers will use this for a heading and they may use it 
to make the let the the text pop out and be very readable on a more complex patterned background so this is a very cool technique just make sure that you know how to do it so that you don't do something by mistake so let's put this back to the way we had it training border none fill was black and over here you can keep this white if you like I'll just switch mine back to black just for consistency. And there you have it. Working with text and color. Another example before we finish up would be to change the color of this. Oops, just undo that. If I just click in there and select all and change this. And remember, if I was to change this to a border color of a black, it would look pretty unreadable and messy, as you can see. So make sure, as we've learned, not to have, just select all that, make sure you're not adding any background color in this situation, but we're going to change the color of the actual fill of the text, its actual color, to paper. And the result is a white text on a darker background. This might not be dark enough to use this, but you can see how this could be very effective from a design perspective creatively on a dark background. So in the next video, we'll continue and talk about text wrapping.